Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how you can really quickly create a, an Alexa skill prototype using a, a cool tool that I came across not too long ago called Say Spring. And um, Say Spring lets you build uh, voice prototypes. I, I, I think that's the right term for them. So if you come to uh, building skills from the mobile or web building world, you're probably familiar with tools like Envision app or Proto.io or uh, Just in Mind, which are all different prototyping tools that let you create sort of a clickable or interactive uh, prototypes for UI designs. And SaySpring does that for voice user interfaces. And I looked, I haven't found any other ones that do that. I've uh, played with a a few that um, are for like conversational like chat bots and things like that. But this is the only one that I'm aware of right now that um, lets you actually use voice interaction. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. And I will show you what I know this far. So you go to SaySpring.com first and set up an account. And there's uh, a free tier, which is what I'm using right now, that I think gives you two projects. Uh, when you first set up the account, there's um, an example project, which I deleted. I think it's like a, a, a banking skill or something like that. Um, but uh, I used it to, when I was kind of just dabbling with it and, and, and learning it, I replicated a skill that I did that I demoed in an earlier video that is a, a voice dashboard. So it lets users um, access like, biz, like a business dashboard for voice. And um, I'm going to replicate that in here, creating that. But let me just, um, just in case you hadn't seen the the, uh, the previous video. So Alexa, start my daily meeting. Alexa, start our daily meeting. I'm ready for our meeting, but I'll need your authorization code to continue. Four three six seven two five one. Okay, I've confirmed your authorization code. Would you like to start with sales, marketing, finance, or product development? Alexa, stop. So Okay, I'll be here if you need me. So the, the way that the skill works is it starts with um, like a, a welcome message, uh, the invocation message, and then prompts the user for uh, an authorization code. And then from there, um, provides uh, options to, to listen to updates for sales, marketing, uh, finance, uh, support, and uh, product development. And so I'm going to replicate that skill using say Spring here. So, or, or not all of it, but most of it. So uh, I'm going to call it um, uh, our daily meeting like that. And so it... The um, when you create a new project, it, it has some boilerplate stuff in here, but the welcome message would be what would uh, play sort of the invocation after the uh, the skill is invoked. The um, launch request message, maybe if we're trying to uh, relate it back to um, Alexa skill terms. But the the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change this up. So uh, welcome to our daily meeting, and I'll just change this to. Um, please tell me your access code. And then the reprompt down here, if the user doesn't respond after X seconds, uh, eight seconds, um, I need your access code to continue. And then from here, um, down here, whenever a command isn't recognized, this is sort of like the gen general error handling. So I'm going to just leave that as is for right now. Um, so what's cool about this is a couple of things. So you can actually test it using an Echo device, which I'll show you in a minute, which is kind of cool. But you can also test right here in the browser, which I also like. So you go start preview. Welcome to our daily meeting. Please tell me you access code. So I'm, I'm getting the prompt, but right now there's nothing that I have set up to respond to that. So I'll just close this down. Sorry, I only understand the commands entered into this project. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, 
change up this sample here. So uh, I'm going to call this uh, authorization. And this is going to be my authorization handler, I guess, of sorts. So when the user says um, one, two, three, four, like that, I'm going to send them to the response, which is going to just be uh, our authentication response. So we'll say when, uh, when a user provides the access code, we'll say, uh, OK, um, I've authorized you. an update on sales, marketing, or finance. Uh, and uh, spell that right. And down here, um, it lets you continue the session. So like if this was an Alexa skill, you'd be listening for the user's response or um, just responding with uh, a statement that is not listening for a response. So um, like ask and uh, uh, tell, and we'll update that. And then this is the reprompt down here. So um, let me change this to would, would you like an update on sales? or finance. Okay, so let me test it to this point. Welcome to our daily meeting. Please tell me your access code. One, two, three, four. Okay, I've authorized you. Would you like an update on sales, marketing, or finance? All right, so now I've got to build those out. So I'll show you how to do that. You add, um, in SaySpring, they're called flows. I, I kind of think- Sorry, I only understand the commands uh, entered into this project. Uh, let's stop preview and close. So they're referred to as flows here. Um, in my mind, these are kind of like states in an Alexa skill. So uh, these would be um, different uh, handlers. I It's sort of how it worked in my mind, but um, these would be like different sections of your, your skill. So we'll call one sales and then I'll add another one called marketing. And then I'll add one called finance and we'll stop there for now. Okay, so now um, in each one of these, I'm going to add a request that is, uh, I guess, it's like sort of the, the utterance. So um, uh, I'll call this the sales utterance. And when the user says sales, and remember, uh, the user is responding to the, uh, the prompt from authorization asking what they want an update on. So we're going to um, create that and then I'm going to add a response that is going to be the intent or at least again that's how I think of it so I'm going to call it the sales intent and uh, this is the update oh my goodness I can't type for sales all right, and then this would, of course, go on and provide all of the details of the update, but just for, for testing, I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I'll keep the, uh, the session open and um, prompt the user by saying, um, would you also like an update on marketing? Uh, actually, a better way to do that would be 
um, like in update for marketing or okay so now when the user responds to this prompt over here would you like an update on sales marketing or finance um, if the user says sales then they're going to get the sales intent here so i just set that here and you can actually use uh, add multiple commands so if you want to build this out where you're um, supporting multiple utterances, things that uh, users would say. I could say um, something like, let's start with sales, like that. And that's gonna go to the same spot. So that's gonna go to the sales intent also. So I just update that like that. And let me go ahead and test this real quick. Welcome to our daily meeting. Please tell me you access code. One, two, three, four. Okay, I've authorized you. Would you like an update on sales, marketing, or finance? Sales? This is the update for sales. Okay. Sorry, I only... I forgot with the sales update, I should also do um, this is the update for sales blah blah and then I would prompt the user, would you also like an update for marketing or finance? And then this would be the reprompt here if there's no response. So uh, let me try that. Welcome to our daily meeting. Please tell me you access code. One, two, three, four. Okay, I've authorized you. Would you like an update on sales, marketing, or finance? Marketing. Sorry, I only understand the commands entered into mm -hmm. this project. So I haven't built out marketing yet, so that doesn't work. Sales? Sorry, I only understand the commands entered into this project. Okay, so let me close this out. And uh, let me do the same thing over here and build out marketing. So the user request is gonna be my marketing. Marketing utterance, and I'm gonna just say marketing here. And then I'm going to have my, my marketing intent here. that as my reprompt also. I'm gonna wire this up. And of course, I'm gonna do the same thing for finance uh, to build this out. And, and I think you pretty much get the idea. So you can go through here and you can create your complete voice user interface and uh, listen to it and demo it here. But I wanna show you Welcome to our After daily this, meeting. Something cool. Please tell me you access code. One, two, three, four. Okay, I've authorized you. Would you like an update on sales, marketing, or finance? Marketing. This is the marketing update. What would you like to hear about next? Okay, so you get uh, you get the idea. Um, I'm going to now show you what I think Sorry, is the... Sorry, I only understand the commands entered into this project. Coolest 
piece of this. Sorry, I only understand the commands and stop. There we go. Um, which is the uh, the ability to um, integrate this with uh, with your Echo, so you can like test uh, inside the uh, the Echo, which is I think very cool. So the way that that works is. Um, you let's see how did i make that work maybe it's under my settings here integrations yeah this is it okay so over here on integrations and i um i set this up earlier and then uh, undid it so i could walk through it for this video but uh, there's some instructions here on how to set it up and basically what you're going to do is you're going to uh, enable the say spring skill and then you're going to through uh, account linking link that with the account that you use with your echo so i'll walk through it so you can see how to do it it's pretty easy um, just go to the skill store and the say spring skill here you want to enable that with your um the account that you use and i actually use my personal account here so sign in this is the account I use with my Echo. And then um, once it's enabled, it's going to prompt you to link. And uh, I'm logged in here, so that's why it's uh, automatically linked the skill. So once it's linked up like that, then you can just go back and say, Alexa, open Say Spring. Alexa, open Say Spring. Welcome to Say Spring. The available projects are our daily meeting and voice dashboard. Which project would you like to open? Our daily meeting. Welcome to our daily meeting. Please tell me you access code. Alexa, stop. So you get the idea. So I can, Alexa, stop. Sorry, I only <laughs> understand the commands entered into this project. Alexa, stop. Goodbye. <laughs> So you get the idea now. I, I can actually test using the um, the say spring skill, which acts as a, a wrapper for the prototype that I created in here. So our daily meeting. So pretty cool, an easy way to prototype skills without having to to write any code. And if you're you're doing this in code now, you know it it can. Um, it can take a little while and uh, a lot of the work is in just figuring out the, uh, the user experience and the interaction. So hopefully this is valuable. If, uh, if you did find this video valuable, um, please like it and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I'll respond just as soon as I, as soon as, uh, I can. Thanks so much.